Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum assalam wa rahmatullah. So um, I do have a selection of books that I read. And alhamdulillah, jazakallah khair. After listening to a lot of your lectures, I've learned a little bit more. And when I started to read some of the books, I, I came across something that I'm not sure if it's correct and if I should keep the book, burn it, or throw it away. It says that a letter bar that it belongs to, um, I think, uh, Ali Rajabawani, and also the time of the prayer, they said, Ali Shah, you can pray until the fajr of the next day. So are this book okay for me to keep or give it to someone, or I should burn them? I, I did not understand what you have read. What is it again? So it says that the letter ba, uh, the dot in the ba of Bismillah. Yeah. It's referring to Ali Rodiabalhani. <laughs> no, no, this is totally, no, this is totally bogus. Of course, you have to get rid of such a book, because what, what kind of knowledge do people try to uh, pollute in people's minds? Ali, may Allah be pleased with him, is the fourth rightly guided caliph. His seeding is number four. All Muslims agree that Abu Bakr is the best after the Prophet ﷺ. Then Umar, then Uthman. And finally, Ali, may Allah be pleased with him. So to come and have the audacity to claim that the Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim, the dot in the letter B, Bismillah, which is underneath, is referring to Ali. What kind of nonsense is this? It's the same. Interpre interpretation of the uh, Rafida when they say Marajul Bahraini Al Allah has merged and joined the two seas. They say, Oh, this is Ali and Fatima. And Yahruju Minhum al Lu'lu'u al Marjan. So the uh, pearls and the corals come out of these two seas. They said, Yeah, this is referring to Al Hassan al Hussein. This is nonsense. This is Tafsir Batani and it's blasphemous and it has nothing to relate to Islam. So ditch these books and throw them away.